Debt to me is interesting because debt can mean very different things to very different people as right. well as businesses <clears throat> who under the law are considered people, which blows my mind. That's a conversation right. for another day. So like debt, I have student loan debt. I don't have much credit card debt. I managed to pay it off. But debt is the biggest problem young people face in this country yep. because they have, I don't know if it's record low savings, but at least in the past year, savings has plummeted. But credit right. card debt has skyrocketed with inflation. So they have all this debt. Uh, they go into jobs who don't want to pay them well. So they're leaving right. their jobs. Um, and it's just like this, this, the economy, this doesn't, who does it work for? Who does the economy actually work for with debt? I mean, even with debt in particular, because with debt to a business is very valuable. Like Elon Musk just bought Twitter. Guess oh, yeah. what? He bought all of that debt. Right. So whoever, whoever had that debt no longer has that debt. Like as a business owner, I have been told debt is very valuable to you. But as an individual, debt is your worst case scenario. Right. So how does that make sense? How can like, because there's the idea of perceived wealth, right? Your perceived value, like your company is worth X, your actual value, but your perceived value is worth this. In right. America, perceived value is more important than your actual value, which blows my mind. Right. Like how does... How does all that work? Like, how can debt be so valuable? And why is perceived value even a real thing? 